Hey there, smartphone fans. Welcome back to Smartphone Wars for another great, honest tech review from China on a phone you probably never heard of, but you should have. And today I have here an absolutely unbelievable bargain with the Blackview BV9000 Pro, an IP68 phone with NFC 128 gigs of onboard storage. Here, so these are the full specs. I see an Android 711 Nougat, it's got the 18 by 9 screen. It's got the 6 gigs of RAM, just massive 128 gigs of onboard storage, fast optic core, Samsung front camera, Omnivision back camera, and 4000 mAh battery with all the sensors you need. And just that 128 gigabytes just makes it worth it. And as long as you're wondering, the IP68 motor resistance rating is real and the phone is 100% water resistant. Uh, and I really wanted to start with that, the water resistant test. First I tested it in tap water and then I put a bowl, uh, it's my blender bowl with tap water and I left the phone in around 6 minutes, absolutely no problem at all. So the IP68 water resistance rating is 100% real guys. You can definitely take uh, like uh, swimming pool pictures with this phone, no problem, it will definitely not get broken, there's no water coming into the lenses uh, after checking the cameras, everything works after that, I'm still using the phone, the phone works great, uh, everything works as it should be. So, um, gone are the days where they just uh, say it's IP68 but it really isn't. And to the Gorilla Glass 5 here, I'm not really sure if it's Gorilla Glass 5 but uh, the display didn't get scratched when I truly wanted to scratch it with my keys and this is what really matters. You put it in your bag, it doesn't get scratched by keys, loose change, like uh, putting in your toolbox, your range won't scratch it as well. So not really sure Gorilla Glass 5 but definitely scratch resistant here. And you might want to lower your sound a bit because next it's time for the drop test and it actually sounds like it hurts. Yes, the phone is definitely drop proof from um, like 1.7, 1.6 meters because I'm like 2 meters tall and it's on hard surface, my wooden floor. Didn't get a scratch, didn't get a knock, didn't get a crack, so definitely, definitely a drop proof phone. And now that we've moved past this, let's talk more about the experience. First of all, the package. Blackfoot BV9000 Pro comes with the most fullest package I've ever seen. You get a Blackfoot stand for the phone, you get uh, the SIM tray pin, you get an additional screen protector, not that you actually need those, but some people really like to apply those uh, on rigged phones as well. You do get the massive 24 watt fast charging charger, which charges the 4,180 mAh battery in just an hour and a half. And you also get uh, a micro USB to USB type C converter, so you can charge it with the micro USB cable if you don't have your USB type C with you. You get earphones, you get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack converter from the USB Type-C because this phone does not have a headphone jack. So deal with it, you have a converter. And the sound quality is actually better through it. And this Mammoth USB Type-C cable is present as well as an OTG USB Type-C cable. So incredible package the budget price. And let's check out the phone. The phone is designed and made out of rubber, hard plastic and metal and the phone is actually quite compact because of that smaller battery and 18 by 9 display. It fits straight in my pocket and in my back pocket as well. It weighs around 250 grams, which is light for a rigged device. And the phone is actually quite, quite beautiful and well. And has this huge notification LED. And now check the sound quality. phone is dual nano sim with one of the slots can be used to expand that massive 128 gigs of phone port storage and it's located on the top and I don't suggest you change it very often. The BV9000 Pro when inserted the sim card got 4G straight away here in Eastern Europe and very very fast to do so. So the modem inside is definitely top notch and of course the phone also has NFC and it also supports voice over LTE or 40. The band supported you definitely get 
4G everywhere in Asia and in Europe, that's right, India, Bangladesh, like everywhere in the European Union, but it's a bit limited to the United States and Canada, so do check if your local operator supports the brands I've shown before. This OTG works great, no problems. The phone is actually quite good as a GPS device as well. Not the best I've tested, but certainly good because it clocks from inside my house in around 10 seconds. The compass on the phone was surprisingly accurate after calibration. See me here testing it next to my Huawei Mate 10, which is a top rate device. The Blackfoot BV9000 Pro is running the Android 711. You get with the November security patch on it. And this phone is really feature packed, starting with an NFC chip for Android Pay. And Google Assistant works great, by the way. Okay, Google. When is Newcastle United's next game? Newcastle are playing Manchester City on Saturday at 7. The phone is also meant for a great SOS phone you can set up. There is a smart key on the right side of the phone to automatically contact or like send an alarm. If you get attacked or you get lost, there's some issues. But that button is also programmable and you want to use it differently. Yes, you can also program to do cool stuff like I do. Like press it once to open YouTube, press it uh, twice to open the camera, and long press to take a screenshot. And by the way, you can absolutely uh, customize all of that. So great, great. This smart key actually is very, very handy with usage and really helps with multitasking. And you can also use face unlock like face ID, but it's really not that, that good. And I don't recommend using it because it only unlocks in good lighting conditions and if this phone is in front of your face only. When it comes to benchmarks and performance, the BV9000 Pro excels because of the HD Plus resolution, which is lower than full HD plus the phone, and the user experience is super buttery smooth. The battery life on the phone is good for around seven to nine hours of screen on time because it's not a huge battery, but it makes it more compact. And I think seven, eight hours of screen on time is definitely enough for most people. As I said, benchmarks, benchmarks clocks, great. On par, if not better than any Snapdragon 625 phone I got. And I was surprised to see that the huge storage inside is actually very, very fast as well, scoring above 4000 points in my PC Mark storage test. And here is an actual usage test of the phone, so you can see what you're getting is a very, very fast phone. Not only waterproof, not only 18 by 9, not only feature packed, plenty of like huge 120 gigabytes of storage, 6 gigs of RAM, which is actually utilized because this phone. This amazingly well in multitasking, having 20 apps open in the background without rolling any of them. So if you like, want a multitasking, water resistant, uh, huge storage device with 18 by 9, I do think that the BV9000 Pro is absolutely the best phone out there on the market. And uh, if some of you perhaps are asking, is this better than Duji S60? It's not only better, it's leagues better than the Duji S60 was so. If you're wondering about these two phones, definitely go with the Blackfoot BV9000 Pro over the Duji S60, which was one of the devices I was most disappointed to review this year because I was expecting a lot. And here I was ex not expecting much, but the phone turned out to be actually pretty, pretty solid. And now on to gaming. Again, low resolution really helps with gaming performance. And Timos, this phone does not get even warm even if you game for long periods of time. So very good thermos because I think of that metal back which conducts the heat much better. It's one of the heaviest games in the Android Play Store, World War Heroes. It's a FPS, online FPS, and it, on average settings, flies on the BV9000 Pro. And this is actually the heaviest game on the Android Play Store market, which is Lineage 2 Revolutions. And in normal settings, it really crumbles the Snapdragon 625. And here with the BV9000 Pro, the game actually runs pretty, pretty well and it's playable. The minor frame drops, but the game is definitely playable. And this is a high, high end game with Unreal Engine 4. And now onto the cameras. The BV9000 Pro is finally here and it's finally we have a good camera IP68 phone from China. Thank you very much, Blackview. The Omnivision sensor on the back, the 30 megapixel Omnivision sensor on the back is a revelation. Larger pixel size. Uh, f2.0 aperture, great shots, HDR, absolutely great, fast shutter speed. This is as good as a Redmi Note 4X, Redmi 5 Plus camera on an IP68 watch resistant phone. And just have all these other amazing features as well. 
So what the Duji S60 was supposed to be, this really good um, rugged camera phone, but it wasn't. The BV9000 Pro is definitely it. Finally, people want the toughest uh, phone with NFC and with good camera 18 by 9 display. can get that on the price. And if you think the camera falters in indoor and all that shots, think again because the BV9000 Pro actually takes a pretty decent low light shots and very, very good indoor shots as well. Inside your house, inside the mall, at a friend's birthday party, and even in the dark alley, like street, if you want to take some photos. Sure, it will not be as good as the Huawei P10, but it's definitely better than most phones around $250. So I was very, very surprised. The front camera, again, surprisingly good. The Sony IMX219 sensor, it may overexpose light a little bit if it's behind your back, but the image quality is very, very good and the noise level is very low. So this is a usable front camera, a better front camera than most phones especially most triggered phones if you ask me at this price point. I was definitely pleased with both cameras as photo quality goes. No issues here. I just love the cameras on this phone. I wasn't expecting something good but it turned out much better than I hoped. The phone can shoot 4K video and the video quality is very nice. The audio quality is very good as well but the video is just a little bit choppy. Maybe they need a software update to fix it. For now just stick to 4HD video if you ask me. The BV9000 Pro is great, but it's not perfect. And here is what's bad about it. First of all, the cable extensions on USB Type-C are longer than normal and standard USB Type-C cables won't work. So definitely don't lose and break the cables. The other thing that's bad is core quality. But I was able to hear everybody perfectly, but they couldn't hear me very well because it's just a single microphone and the body is very thick. The sound gets muffled a little bit. They will hear you, but if you're in a very loud environment, they probably won't hear you very well. The other thing that I didn't like is the display quality. Colors are not very well saturated and the display brightness can definitely be better because in direct sunlight, you probably won't see anything on this display. It's tough, but it's not very good. And the other thing is that the face unlock. You just really don't use this. Use the fingerprint scan. It's much better anyway. So for all it's worth, the BV9000 Pro gets more things right than it is wrong. You get all these amazing specs, NFC 18.9, real water resistant, real drop proof, very good cameras and a very affordable price. The BV9000 Pro is what the Duji S60 was supposed to be but wasn't. A fast gaming rigged phone with good cameras. You can buy the phone from the link in the description below. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more honest reviews like this.